Hey, good evening, everybody. <laughs> How great How to you see doing, you folks? all. Hope you're doing really well. Welcome to a Prehistory Guys Prehistory Flash. I'm Michael. I'm Rupert. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got something a bit different for you today, haven't we? Um, uh, uh, we should uh, we should say, don't forget to uh, uh, to subscribe down there. Yeah. Because um, as we're doing the prehistory flash, we seem to be turning out content a bit more regularly now, so you don't want to miss anything. So, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you're not already uh, subscribed. Uh, really happy to see you, you all waiting, and uh, yeah, welcome. So, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you carry on. It was a bit different. I, I was just going to say, if you haven't been on a prehistory flash today yet before um this is where we if little bits of news take our eye if uh, little bits of news take our fancy we do a quick turnaround a quick bit of boning up on on stuff and and bring it to you in the form of through the form of youtube <laughs> boy in yeah. Smaller bites so than we're expression. used to putting out. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, well, so, you know, the thing is that some of these news things, what, what drove us to this was because there's so much news coming in every single day. And normally for our longer programs, you know, we cherry pick them, you know. So it's like I've got 100 items and it'll work. Well, okay, we'll do this one, this one, and this one. And there were so many things that were just kind of going past so we thought no we'll do these shorter ones so we can tell you about some of the things that otherwise you'd just miss and yeah. uh yeah uh, this one is <laughs> a bit different a bit different it's a bit groundbreaking um hi sibylla hi stone age steve hi david hi sibylla again <laughs> hi diorman <laughs> yeah just saying hello to some of our wonderful patreon fans Bless them. We must always we say hello to our Patreon, uh, our, our Patreon friends. And uh, yes, I'll, I'll tell you all again. I don't. I can't see who's. Uh, I can't see who's there. So, <laughs> so I'm relying on Michael always yeah, to, yeah, uh, yeah. to let me know who's in the room. Um, and quite a few uh, newcomers I haven't seen before. You know, so welcome to right. you. I uh, hope you in, enjoy what we've got in store. And uh, yes, I mentioned our Patreon supporters. Uh, if you want to have a look at our Patreon no. page, the um, the links in the description below. Anyway, onwards. Mm -hmm. What have we got in store? What's what are we talking about onwards. tonight? This is cracking. Um, um, this is from the Pinwheel Cave in California, and it's the first time that uh, that <laughs> that evidence of hallucinogenics has been found in relation to rock art. Yeah. There's been theories forever. There have been theories put forward that a lot of rock art has been induced by, uh, uh, by hallucinogenic substances, whether it's ayahuasca or you know the, 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 all sorts. And uh, and this is the first time that they have actually been found, same place, uh, you know, same rock art kind of thing. Yeah. Um, what makes us a little bit different from our perspective is that it's it is prehistoric from a very uh, an American continent point of view. Uh, it's very late for us, so the earliest yeah. piece of evidence here is only going back about a thousand years. Obviously, in terms of American history, that's seriously prehistoric. Um, but it's uh, you know it's late for us in terms of you know it's after the Iron Age, for example. So, um, but the thing is that what what's happened here is that they've found some uh, some rock art in the Pinwheel Cave in California. Um, yeah. Well, we've got a picture of that, haven't we, Michael? Uh, the, the, well, the, the actual um, uh, spiral design. Uh, whichever you like, really. That's, that's the, um, uh, yeah. the, the yes, the the red coloration has been which uh, is yeah, it's been enhanced to, that to, to quite severely, well. yes, to to bring yeah. it out. And uh, uh, the cave itself. You got a picture of the cave there, Mike? No, I haven't actually. Um, no? Okay, yeah, um, I mean, it's a cave with people in it. It's a cave. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a cave. Um, but but what's interesting about this, uh, apart from um, uh, apart from the fact that you know there's this piece of rock art, the yeah. thing is that they they found that 
in the ceiling of this cave, it's a porous ceiling, and there's lots of little nooks uh, and notches in the ceiling. And in over 56, it was a minimum 56 of these notches, they found quids, so little chewable packs of mm. substance. Um, and when they analysed it, they were quids of Datura reitii, which is a hallucinogenic plant. And uh, what was so particularly interesting about this is that if you look at the uh, Datura plant as it uh, as it opens, as its petals open, if you like, yeah, it's fair to call them petals. Then it is exactly what they have drawn in this rock art image coming so up. So there's. There you are. So there's the two together, you know, the plant on the right, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and the fact that, uh, that there was just a whole load of this chewable stuff in the cave where they had drawn this. Um, I mean, the, the question can, remains... Can I, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah go on. I mean, what I'll do, if I just read the sort of first bit of this uh, article that was in uh, fizz.org, because that's yeah. a that's a sort of quite a good um, uh, overview. It, it's a, just it's a good. It's yeah. It's a good pricey. It's a lot lighter to read than the actual paper. <laughs> yes, I mean it just ensures that uh, the various institutions get mentioned as well. Yes. So I'll, I'll I'll go for that. So it says uh, I might as well um, share the screen. Actually, uh, yeah, there we are. Um, New research led by the University of Central Lancashire, including the University of Southampton's archaeology department. Uh, yeah, go figure. <laughs> yes, I know. But, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's a UK-led investigation uh, in California. Yeah. Uh, Hey-ho. Uh, where was <laughs> I? Um, as part of the res research, um, yeah, has... Southampton's archaeology department has revealed for the first time how prehistoric indigenous American people created rock art as part of the hallucinogenic experience. As part of this research, published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, academics carried out excavations at a cave site in California after discovering a painting thought to represent the flowers of Datura reitii, a plant historically used for its hallucinogenic properties as part of elaborate community ceremonies. Um, the most noted use of Datura in native California is as part of adolescent initiations where the root of the plant was processed into a drink for young people in the community. Alongside the painting, researchers also discovered a number of chewed materials which were almost all found to be made from uh, Datura. So, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much you know, the stuff that you've uh, uh, covered there. But, of course, interesting because it's relatively very recent in prehistoric terms, mm. that this is almost a kind of ethnographic uh, extraction. Isn't absolutely, it? yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it's interesting that the oldest, um, uh, the oldest find in this cave is about a thousand years old, and the youngest, so the most recent, is only what was it, one hundred and seventy years ago, something like that. It's um, mm. it, so you know, this is something that's been happening, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, the, for a very long time. Mm, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this article and the and the paper is that Rupert and I actually had quite different uh, responses to it and what it was uh, what it was trying yeah. to say. Uh, I took away from it that it was trying to detract from uh, the you know a, a kind of fairly mainstream theory that most rock art was produced by uh, entoptic. Uh, from the entoptic visions uh, induced by hallucinogenics. But of course, uh, uh, because this is a, a representational, a figurative piece of art, if, if you like, albeit that it has been produced under conditions of alt an altered state of, of consciousness. But you, you didn't see it quite that way, Rupert. No, no, I didn't. I, th what I took away from it was the fact that historically it's always been a theory that, yeah. uh, that so much of this rock art uh, was drug induced. And, uh, and so to actually find a site 
where uh, where the rock art is actually showing you that the stuff that they used for uh, inspire you know or for getting into a hallucinogenic state uh, is there you know it's it, it's it, it's like it's it, it's solid evidence that yes they did use use hallucinogenics to uh, uh, to do rock art that's not obviously to say that all rock art is drug induced um, but a, <laughs> but it, <laughs> Well, um, because some people have gone down uh, that route, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, mm. I think uh, I think some of the uh, like the art in the Chauvet caves, and uh, that's, that's that was done with a steady yeah. hand. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say though, that it's it's important to um, uh, say that. Uh, <sighs> This feels like sort of quite lightweight work, but there was a lot of science. When we're, again, we're talking about modern techniques enabling mm. them to uh, work out, you know, extra, what was in those uh, quids taken from the pockets in in the cave. Uh, it, Dare it's I say, not, liquid chromatography, mass spectrometry. Well it's, done, uh, that one. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's just, I thought just important to uh, to bring in that that uh, there was mm. a lot of deep tech involved in uh, uh, extracting the information yeah, yeah, yeah. astonishing deep yeah, i yeah. just wanted to flash something something up though you know which it sort of takes uh, the whole thing the other way uh, and that's uh, this bit of art from uh, new mexico uh, yeah. uh, in, in i think there's a chihuahua desert that's uh, um from a cave there and that is actually associated with another drug. It's actually associated with drug because almost directly below where that art is, there are outcrops of uh, of wild um, uh, <laughs> wild tobacco, uh, which um, apparently has uh, got three times the nicotine content, and is quite capable of inducing uh, altered state of mm. severe altered state of consciousness mm. if taken mm. over a certain amount of time. Now, here's the thing. Here's the problem for uh, uh, folks on uh, on Patreon and uh, people watching now is how much they come out about what they did in their youth. <laughs> how much they are uh, they know about what's going on with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But See, I have to plead the fifth. If you plead the fifth, um, <laughs> I have to say, uh, I, uh, I, I steered clear. I did. Did you? I don't know why. I was, I was, yeah. So I have no idea what anybody's talking about here. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But your lips are sealed. Okay. Well, this is, yeah, it's just, I was, yeah, I was a lost boy. Uh, and it was a very good job that I did it all so young because I'm sure if I'd come to it later in life, I'd be dead by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to go to the uh, other side and going a bit further, further, further back in, uh, in, in prehistory uh, and, and stuff, there is a discussion mm. about rock art. And the other thing is, of course, this is painted art. The two th examples we've looked at is um, a, a painted art, uh, not yes. uh, pecked and and chipped out of uh, the hard stone that we've been looking at. Um, mm. You know, it, the, we've got some severe examples. <clears throat> I mean, it's all over the place. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, go on. <laughs> well, I'll give you the Newgrange curbstones. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's wonderful. You make of it what you will. I mean, I, I still think that the entoptic theory has got a, a, a lot to do with it. Yeah? I, you know stuff what? I, I produced can, under the under I can the influence. See it. It's a distinct yeah, possibility. I can see it both ways. It's what, yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. I can see it both ways. Um, yeah. I think there are, some, there are some places where... Um, yeah. Is it the Kochko stone? Um, I haven't got the Kochko stone. I could show you the Badger stone from Ilkley Moor. Yeah, that'll do. Which has that'll got very similar. similar stuff on, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and it could be anything. Could be a, could be a map. <coughs> who, who knows? Yeah. However, I'll just stone. just briefly. You know, how are we doing for for time? We don't want to uh, be uh, pushing it. 
we're pushing it. Oh, we're already pushing it. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Well, we'll just do this, and then we'll we'll, we'll wrap it up. And that's a comparison between Irish. Uh, rock art from various places, mostly Newgrange, of course, on the left there. And on the right, you've got examples from, you know, scientifically extracted, either, i.e., these are drawings made by people who have known to have been under the influence, uh, you know, actually un under the influence at the time or just after. You know, these are the descriptions mm. of what the you know, visions or, or shapes are, are, are coming up. So, mm. you know, the similarities are there. So, are. we are 15 mm. minutes into uh, our show, and they're meant to be short. Um, sorry we don't have time to say hello and, and acknowledge all the comments that are going on, but it's a brilliant conversation that's going on in the comments, I can see in the chat, uh, and you'll be able to access it after, of course. Anything else we need to say before we wrap up on that one, Rupert? Uh no, I just think it's a lovely correlation between, uh, it, but you know, a, a modern find in a relatively recent uh, site that that clearly has solid implications for going deeper into prehistory, and that's got to be exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, apart from that, no, I'd just wrap it up by uh, once again thanking our wonderful patrons and saying yeah. if you uh, if you want to join. The crew of our, of our happy band. The of crew, patrons. that's it. To start calling them now the crew. The crew. They're very yeah. much the crew. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't do well, it. Well, one of crew. which, no. Ty, says, Ooh, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I know, we could go on. Uh, mm. But uh, there'll be more. There's, there's another one coming up in a couple of days' time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, you, you're not, you yeah. won't be starved. Without There's been so much going on recently. We, yeah, we're going to you know, give you a few. So uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, we will say ta -ra and uh, see you thanks, the next folks. time. Cheers, folks. Bye-bye. See ya. And with a bit of luck, the uh, play-out music will start right now as my hard drives <laughs> spin up and accept... <laughs>